the other hand, reading is at the heart of much of what ESP students do, both in acquiring knowledge of target community discourse. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, let me introduce myself I'm Reza Pustika MPD, the lecturer of English for Specific Purposes subject English for Specific Purposes have, has become an interesting topic for over decades in English education field As English functions as communication in the national language people all over the world find it essential to learn English Moreover, learning English to support their study or career. Here, English for Specific Purposes takes place. English for Specific Purposes or ESP is known as a learner-centered approach to teaching English as a foreign or second language. It meets the needs of mostly adult learners who need to learn a foreign language for use in their vocational field such as science, technology, medicine, laser, and academic learning. This course is recommended for students of teachers, candidate, professionals who wish to learn how to design ESP courses and programs in an area of specialization such as English for Business, for Civil Engineering, for Academic Purposes, and for Health Service Purposes. In addition, they are introduced to ESP instructional strategies, materials adaptation and development, and evaluation. In this learning video, the topic we are going to discuss is ESP, reading, writing, and vocabulary skill. Before we go further to the discussion, I want to inform you that materials in this video are taken from Paltridge B and Starfield S 2013. The title is The Handbook of English for Specific Purposes, Volume 592, West Sussex, Wiley Blackwell. ESP and Reading Skill in any self-assessment or questionnaires based survey, students almost always cite reading as the skill causing them the least difficulty. Thus, there would not seem to be much reason to address it in ESP. On the other hand, reading is at the heart of much of what ESP students do, both in acquiring knowledge of target community discourse and in conjunction with the use of another skill, such as writing. Jordan, 1997. Thus, it will come as no surprise to most people to discover that, in ESP terms, by far the most significant skill is that of reading. McDonald, 1984. Then, too, even if many students rank reading as the least difficult of the skills, this does not mean that students have no problems at all with reading. Jordan, 1997. Stravens, 1977, comments while noting a significant pedagogical change taking place at that time, the pendulum may have swung too far in the direction of speech and many teachers are now seeking to increase the effort applied to learning and teaching a command of the written language and especially to the learning and teaching of reading. Reinforcing this different view of reading, McDonald 1984 pointed out that English is the language of textbooks and journals. In other words, for very many learners, English is a library language, especially in English as a foreign language or EFL context. Equipping students to identify and make use of these priming devices become a central focus of ESP reading instruction, as reflected in the teaching approaches portrayed in most educational books in United Kingdom. To enhance this transfer process, 
According to Strimble 1985, visual verbal relationships are very useful too to exploit when teaching reading or when transferring the teaching emphasis to writing. In this approach, students might bring to class authentic samples of figures portraying the operation of a device and then analyze the descriptive paragraphs accompanying the figures. Later, they can write their own descriptions that mimic the rhetorical features seen in the authentic samples. With this emphasis on authentic text drawn from various disciplinary or vocational communities and the analysis of their properties as forms of discourse, ESP was positioning reading, like writing, as a situated activity. While in ESP courses, students might still be taught a generic set of core reading comprehension skills applicable to a brain range of reading situation. For example, reading textbooks. There was an increasing emphasis on linking the learning and teaching of reading to specific rhetorical and communicative contexts, with the needs for reading varying across this context. With the use of genre analysis techniques, ESP students can be taught how to recognize as readers and mimic as writers the schematic structure of text in their chosen discourse communities. Jordan 1997 emphasizes that when students read, it is for purpose. This is the starting point for reading related instruction. Teaching reading skills. Reading teachers naturally want to know how to teach students in ESP reading courses with improving reading comprehension a driving goal. This has led to interest in building students' knowledge of valuable reading strategies and a related focus on the rhetorical features of target community texts. As an initial way of activating this process, Huang, Cheng, and Chen 2006 have explored the use of carefully selected pre-reading materials taken from longer discipline specific text students will read later to prime students reading skills in a reading course including general purposes reading skills that have already been built however much of the work related to comprehension building revolves around instantiating core reading skills and discourse analytic skills in this regard kamikotoli 2003 looked at the explicit teaching of meta-discourse. Meta-discourse could give effect on the instruction of their reading comprehension and concluded that meta-discourse can have a positive influence on comprehension and so should play a greater role in ESP courses. In addition to how students should read, what they have to read and comprehend is also a key issue for ESP reading specialists. In this regard, textbooks have long been a topic of interest, particularly since this is a genre most commonly faced by students. Myers, 1992. They are also likely to be students' first exposure to writing in their target discourse community. Besides textbook, vocabulary occupies an important place in both native language and second or foreign language reading scholarship, since the words on the page are the starting point for reading. Thus, it is not surprising to see some emphasis on vocabulary in the ESP reading literature. However, given the nature of reading specialized texts, especially their vocabulary, the treatment of vocabulary in ESP courses may in some ways be more challenging than in general proposed English courses. While normally associated with writing, portfolios have also been presented as useful in the development of reading ability, especially in conjunction with writing. Evela 2013 ESP and Writing Skill 
The challenge of ESP writing. Writing is perhaps the central activity of institutions. Complex social activities like educating students, keeping record, engaging with customers, selling products, demonstrating learning, and disseminating ideas largely depend on it. Not only it is hard to imagine modern academic and corporate life without essays, commercial letters, email, medical reports, and minutes of meetings, but writing is also a key feature of every student's experience. While multimedia and electronic technology are beginning to influence learning and how we assess it, many domains conventional writing remains the way in which students both consolidate their learning and demonstrate their understanding of their subjects. With the continuing dominance of English as the global language of business and scholarship, writing in English assumes an enormous importance for students in higher education and on professional training courses. Countless individuals around the world must now gain fluency in the conventions of writing in English to understand their disciplines, to establish their careers, or to successfully navigate their learning. Highland 2013 Unlike other process tradition, we saw writing as a kind of generic skill which could be taught by modeling expert practice. ESP conception of writing focus on assisting students toward the competence in particular target genres. Teachers do not simply teach writing, but teach particular kinds of writing which are valued and expected in some academic or professional contexts. The literacy demands of the modern world, therefore, challenge ESP teachers to recognize that their task involves far more than simply controlling linguistic error or policing style. Instead, it encourages them to respond to a complex diversity of genres, contexts, and practices. In recent years, the field of ESP has become increasingly sensitive to the ways in which texts are written and responded to by individuals acting as members of social groups. Highland 2013 The ESP literature is coming to understand this and to recognize that the difficulties students experience with writing are often not due to technical aspects of grammar and organization, but the ways that different strands of their learning interact with each other and with their previous experience. Highland, 2013. While there are a number of ways of studying text, genre analysis has become established as the most widely used and productive methodology in ESP writing research. Highland 2004 and Jones 2002. A genre approach to writing looks beyond the struggles of individual writers to make meanings and delves beneath the surface structure of text as products to understand how writing actually works as communication. This is an approach which assumes that texts are always a response to a particular communicative setting and which attempts to reveal the purposes and functions which linguistic forms serve in text. The writer is seen as having certain goals and intentions, certain relationship to his or her readers, and certain information to convey, and the forms a text takes are resources used to accomplish this. Writing is therefore seen as mediated by the institutions and culture in which it occurs, so that every text carries the purpose of the writer and the expectations about the information should be structured and writer-reader relationship conveyed. Highland 2009 Zora and ESP are usually regarded as staged, structured events designed to perform various communicative purposes by specific discourse communities. Swalls 2004. The term reminds us that we write, we follow conventions 
for organizing messages because we want our readers to recognize our purpose and we all have a repertoire of linguistic responses to call on to communicate in familiar situations. Writers therefore anticipate what readers expect from a text and how they are likely to respond to it. They use the rhetorical conventions, interpersonal tone, grammatical features, argument structure, and so on that readers are most likely to recognize and expect. ESP practitioners have made considerable use of these findings to determine what is to be learned and to organize instruction around the genres that learners need and the social context in which they will operate. Texts and tasks are therefore selected according to the learner's need and genres are modeled explicitly to provide learners with something to aim for an understanding of what readers are likely to expect. The demand of the modern workplace and university therefore mean that ESP recognizes the specificity of writing down in different domains and in the instruction that leads to, comp to competence in such domains. Belshire 2009, Highland 2002 Successful writing does not occur in a vacuum but depends on the understanding of a professional context. Highland and Bondi 2006 So that texts produced in legal, medical, technical, and business fields differ enormously from each other and often more one side to another. ESP and vocabulary skill Research into vocabulary and English for specific purposes is driven primarily by the question What vocabulary do ESP learners need? The problem is that this seemingly simple question does not have a particular straightforward answer It is more than likely that the question would be met with more question about the kind of ESP the learners are focused on Whether they all have the same goals the level of proficiency, the context, and the amount of time available for learning. Cox Head 2013 ESP vocabulary can be referred to in the literature by very different names from one study to another. These terms include special, purpose, specialized, technical, subtechnical, and semi-technical vocabulary. In essence, such terms usually refer to the vocabulary of a particular area of study or professional use. The range of a word is important in ESP. That is, a specialized word would have a narrow range of use within a particular subject area. This means that specialized words are expected to belong to a particular subject area at university or to a professional discipline. People outside that academic or professional sphere might have some knowledge of this vocabulary, but the people inside this area of language would be expected to be able to understand and use this language fluently. Cox Head, 2013 Vocabulary in ESP is important for several reasons. First of all, teachers and learners need to know that previous classroom time is directly related to their language needs. They should be reading materials that contain key ideas and the language of their field and writing using those ideas and language. Secondly, Understanding and using the special purposes vocabulary shows that these learners belong to a particular group. Learners need that language to show understanding, make meaning, and engage with disciplinary knowledge. Woodward Crom 2008 Best Tukman 2006 outlines the fundamental perspective on language for specific purposes. One approach poses that English has a common core of words all learners should know. In this view, specialization begins once learners establish that common core. 
The other approach conceptualize all language as being for specific purposes, which means specialization should begin early. The key point here is where specialization should begin for language learners. Early specialization is easier to conceptualize and operationalize in learning context where all students are moving through the same educational system at the same age with a shared first language and language code. Identifying vocabulary for ESP Consult Consulting experts and technical dictionaries to identify specialized vocabulary one approach to identifying specialized vocabulary is to consult expert in a particular field to help identify technical vocabulary. Smith 2010 Using a scale to identify specialized vocabulary. Chung and Nation 2003 devised a four-step scale to categorize technical vocabulary in an applied linguistic textbook and an autonomy text. Step 1 on the scale represents words with meanings that have no specific connection to a subject area, for example, between a noun and early. Step 2 contains words which are minimally related to the subject area, for example, support, part, and protects in anatomy. Step 3 is for words that are more closely related to the subject area, such as neck, heart, and breathing in anatomy. Step 4 is for words that relate closely to the technical subject area. Bringing special vocabulary into the classroom. Nation 2001 outlines the kinds of knowledge learners need for understanding and using words. This kind of knowledge is important for everyday language and specialized words. One way to approach this teaching and learning problem is to apply Nation's Four Strength 2007 to create a balanced vocabulary program. Nation's Four Strength are meaning focus input, learning through reading and listening meaning focused output, where learning is through writing and speaking. Language focused learning comprises of deliberate study of aspects of words such as how they are pronounced and spelled, and fluency development. Nation recommends that teachers consider the strength when designing vocabulary activities for the classroom. Well, that covers what I want to share with you in this learning video. For your own ESP courses, I recommend you to read more on the works of experts I chatted in this learning video. You will surely get inspiration from them. Thank you so much to watch this video until it ends. Don't forget to like the videos in Kuliah Technopra channel and subscribe it. It will surely help your college study. I'm Reza Bustika signing out. Thank you. Goodbye. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan video pembelajaran ini. Jangan lupa like, comment dan subscribe serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya.